the neighbour next door. Uh, just a metre away with the balcony side by side. The units are not that big nowadays for HDBs. Once the smoke gets in from the living room, it quickly gets down the entire unit. I cannot leave the windows open without having to run to the living room to close the windows when we smell smoke and then uh, to air out the house with fans, especially when I have a young baby at home. It measures PM2.5 or particulate matter which are less than 2.5 microns in diameter in the air. Some of the air particles are really small and might be able to enter through you know, the cracks and the uh, spaces you know, near your windows as well. In general, the air quality in Mr. Ng's um, indoor environment is acceptable. That does mean that Mr. Ng has to stay indoors all the time, shut inside. But on certain days you know, whereby the wind direction is blowing it away from your home, then I think it's a good idea to also ventilate your house once in a while as well. But I wouldn't know when the neighbour is going to smoke and when the wind is going to change direction. So pretty much I will still have to keep my doors and windows closed all the time, especially if there are vulnerable people in my house. Most of us, when we think of secondhand smoke, we think of lung cancer. But secondhand smoke actually causes a lot of inflammation in the blood vessels, which can lead to heart disease. Also respiratory conditions like asthma attacks. In children, it can cause cut death, ear infections. It can cause pregnancy complications mm -hmm. like miscarriage, low uh, birth weight. It's also known to be linked to breast cancer in women. So how much of secondhand smoke do I need to breathe in to fall ill? There have been some studies looking at the effects of short-term exposure to secondhand smoke, like within 10-20 minutes. So this is like the airways, this is where it starts right. inflammation, where it hits the lungs. And then when it goes into the bloodstream, it can cause inflammation in the blood vessels. Oh my goodness, so actually the minute it's inhaled, it's already affecting us. Yes. From the airways. So that's why there's no safe level of secondhand smoke. Basically, the neighbour maintains their right to smoke at the balcony. They said that there's no way they could control where the smoke would end up. According to Singapore's Health Ministry, it is unaware of any air purifiers in the market that can completely remove the toxic substances from cigarette smoke. Would you consider moving out? Uh, we would, but there are other prevailing factors like property prices and availability of properties that we can move to as well. Smelling the tobacco smoke is not sufficient as cameras must capture the smoker smoking or holding a lighted cigarette as evidence for enforcement. 